New measures, including a ban on hunting, have been announced to combat poaching of Kerry's famous red deer. Conservationists claim Ireland's oldest and purest herd of native deer has been reduced to just over 500 as poachers target the much sought after stag antlers and valuable venison. A dawn chorus, Kerry style. The bellows of rotting red stags ring out across the lakes of Killarney. For over a month now, the elusive stags have been calling loudly as they summon their female hinds in advance of breeding. The reds here in Killarney are Ireland's oldest and purest breed of red deer. DNA analysis shows they've been roaming the mountains and woodlands of Kerry since Neolithic times, more than 5,000 years ago. Unfortunately, the herd has been decimated in recent years due to widespread and reckless poaching. The, the reports that we're getting of, of the illegal taking of deer or poaching are really at unprecedented levels at the moment. Predominantly, it's for the sale of venison. Uh, venison at the moment, uh, prices are at an all-time high. But equally, what's, what's a growing um, uh, concern is the trophy hunting. Um, and this is where the stags are actually hunted, not for their meat, but they're actually hunted for their, their antlers or for their head. While the shooting of some female hinds is permitted during the open hunting season, the protection afforded to the red stag is being flaunted. You can hear gunshots every night around the National Park and up, up, you know, up Mangerton and you know, the usual spots where you have deer in the old Khmer Road. Um, and that's just truly sad, it's just disgraceful. This evening, Minister for the Arts, Heritage and Gaeltacht, Jimmy Deanhan, has announced an outright ban with immediate effect on the shooting of all red deer in Kerry, including female hinds. The minister also says ranger patrols will be intensified over the coming weeks in a major effort to clamp down on poachers. Sean McAteehig, RTE News, Killarney.